great idea. Hit and Moves Conditioning Glove, £1.5, that's 24 ounces, fitted into a sleek, comfortable boxing glove. Hello and welcome to fit to box channel I'm Simon, former amateur boxer, current amateur boxing coach. Here on fit to box channel I show you all things boxing equipment. Today I have got, from Hit and Move, a conditioning glove which is weighs heavier than a normal glove and I'll cover that off and sort of the benefits of using that in your training alongside your normal gloves. So, Hit and Move is a company that I have been really, really impressed with, as you know, I have reviewed a few things from Hit and Move. Their brand slogan is Boxing Deserves Better. And I am seeing that this company is innovating and really trying to improve the area of boxing equipment for boxers worldwide. So, with that innovation, they have come out with these in the black and the gold. And I think they look really smart in the black and gold. And these are the All Day Plus which are their conditioning gloves, and these weigh 1.5 pounds, okay? So 1.5 pounds is actually 24 ounce, and it feels like the weight is evenly distributed all around the glove, and that makes them feel really, really good when you're using them. It's a bit like when you go to the gym, people are picking up sort of weights like this, and they're doing their shadow boxing with them, and actually, what you've probably find is a lot of the time that they're actually a bit too heavy for doing that kind of movement. These are 1.5 kilograms, for example. And it puts a lot of strain on the shoulders and on the, the sort of the elbows. And what uh, Hit and Move have done is they've tried to look at that and to see if they could come up with a better way. And uh, this is all based on uh, baseball and baseball research. So obviously in baseball, we don't do baseball over here by the way, in baseball they have bigger balls for conditioning. Obviously you've got uh, the, the ball they were using in an actual game, but they use bigger balls to, uh, for the conditioning of the shoulders of the, of the pitcher. Okay, and the people throwing them. And it's the same with a punch, you're throwing punches. And what Hit and Move have done is they've applied the findings of the research around the baseball balls. Is it baseball or is it baseball balls? It doesn't matter. Uh, they've applied that, those findings to these gloves. So a 16 ounce glove is the normal. 50% um, increase is like the optimum for the baseballs. Uh, and they've gone a 50% increase in the weight from the 16 ounce to the 24 ounce. So, and in these gloves, you've got that perfect distribution of the weight, 1.5 pounds, that optimum weight for the punch movement. Um, if it was any heavier, you'll find that you're probably gonna be causing some problems with the shoulders, perhaps rotor cuff. Um, I've had problems with my rotor cuff, um, and it may well be that you know, you're doing a movement that is too heavy for the joints. So, I'm gonna cover off what I think. These are designed in the USA, made in Pakistan, but are they are like all hit and move gloves beautifully made. These, they come only in the black and the gold. You can get them in the Velcro or also there is a lace version. They are hundred, around £160 here in the UK if you order from the website. Uh, and they also do free shipping, I think, in America. I'm, I'm sure there'd be... Uh, some shipping costs if it was coming across to here um but again 24 ounce so bring that round and i think that these are you can use them for shadow boxing you can use them on the bags you can even use them in sparring you can use them in mitt work and these are great for conditioning your shoulders and really giving you something extra in your workouts hit and move all day plus You've got the logo there. I think that's really smart in the gold. Then you've got obviously the logo there on the Velcro. You've got the size indicator, which indi indicates that these are a conditioning glove. 
move that to one side you've that got then got all day plus again which indicates the fact that these are different from their normal gloves and then I'll bring that across there as well you have got 1.5 pounds on the grip bar printed and then at the bottom there again you've got the hit and move logo there as well and I think in the black and the gold which is the only colours that they do this particular model in does look superb I think they look really stylish let's move round to the knuckle now the knuckle surprisingly is medium to soft they've used a great leather there and in there they have got their DRT plus compression padding okay so even though they've packed a lot of weight into the glove still that is a great surface when it comes to punching in your sparring so really good on the bags but still acceptable more than acceptable for your sparring needs so on the thumb you've got the leather attachment you've got the all day plus there and you've got a lovely tucked in thumb again lends itself to the fact that this is a sparring glove also then as we come round for the wrist you've got a nice piece of velcro across there you've got a thick stiff bit of padding there you can feel this there is some weight there you've also got at the rear a thick stiff bit of padding right at the rear as well and again you can see that all over this glove they have tried to pack in the extra weight but it doesn't feel bulky and that is a real key thing to these gloves they're not bulky let's just show you that as well okay and then let's have a look at the face of the glove you can open your hands up fine you've got the 1.5 pounds on the grip bar the grip bar is still soft the grip bar is okay you have got elastic there to stop the gape and that is comfortable also on the inside so they've done a good job when it comes to making this bit here comfortable uh, some some gloves don't achieve that and then you've got four air holes also at the top there you've got some air holes on the inside of the thumb as well and then when it comes to the stitching the stitching you've got there you've got designed in the USA you've got genuine leather and then you can see the standard is really great build quality great stitching great construction to fit 24 ounces into this glove let's have a look at the liner on there you've got the all day moisture wicking liner and that is soft and spongy and also you can see they've got the hit and move logos as well and that is a great liner as well so this glove is excellent on the outside as well as excellent on the inside So before I come on to the comfort, I want to just show you a little bit of a, 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 a comparison in size. Okay, so that is a 16 ounce Addy Speed, and there you've got the 1.5 pounds of the hit and move. And as you can see, it's probably slightly, slightly bigger, if I bring it to the side. Okay, so there's a lot more weight in the hit and move, but they've managed to ram to pack in to these gloves in a sleek manner all of that weight so there is 50% more weight in this glove than there is in this glove and uh, just bring that round again just to show you okay so obviously you would imagine that if you were putting that much weight into a glove that it would affect the comfort well let me tell you I don't know how they've done it but these are super comfortable glove you can feel on the hand that they're a little heavier at first, obviously, your arms are strong enough to, to take that weight. You've got a flat pad for the finger area. You've got no discomfort at the rear of the knuckle. You've got a thumb that is tucked in lovely, and there is no discomfort in the thumb. No discomfort. It's not tight there. Um, and you can open your hands with them as well, which, which is incredible. 
Um, the punch surface is not like super hard or super packed with the, the padding to make it heavier. So again, you could use these for sparring. And then you've got the wrist, which is really supportive around the wrist. And I'll try the other one on, as I always do. Um, put that one on, and this one's exactly the same. So it's a bit like they rammed a hell of a lot more weight into the gloves, but managed to keep the comfort and the size to pretty much a normal 16 ounce glove, which I think is incredible. So as I go here, I mean, I use these for uh, shadow boxing. Um, as you're using them, first minute, pretty much fine. And then you start to really start to feel the extra weight that is in there. I really enjoyed using them for shadow boxing. You can use them for sparring. Personally, I wouldn't use them for sparring because I've got a history of a shoulder injury that is getting better, so I don't want to make that worse. I've also got golfer's elbow or boxer's elbow, which is a hyperextension, which I've had for a number of years, which again is getting better. What I don't want to do is to throw a shot with heavier gloves on, the person moved their head, and I overextend and hurt my arm or hurt my shoulder. So I, even though I think that you can, because these gloves are perfect for sparring in terms of the padding. Me personally, I'm not going to use these for sparring. I just think to aggravate existing injuries wouldn't be great. Uh, the other option is, of course, that you don't miss. And then every time you throw the punch, you do actually punch someone in the face. Uh, but I haven't perfected that 100% of the time yet. So there is a little um, bit of risk when I throw a punch. And, and, and the person has the audacity to move their head which they shouldn't really do. Um, when I come through here, uh, I have used them on the bag. They are great on the bag. And the conditioning that they give you when you're using them, uh, use a real difference. You start to, say you did three rounds, you start to feel the difference in the amount of weight that is in these. Um, and I think that they're just, I think they're superb. You would expect a 24 ounce glove to be really bulbous, but because they're so sleek, that's what makes them work. And I would much prefer to use these um, over uh, a pair of weights. You know, and how many times in the in the gyms do you see someone pick up a pair of, of you say, do the mirror work and they start picking up dumbbells like this. Um, the fact that these are in a glove shape, because they are gloves, is so much better than using these. Also, you can get some egg weights and the egg weights are a, a bit heavy, actually. But again, it, it's something that you're gripping onto. Here, you, you're shadow boxing in gloves, and I don't think there's anything better than shadow boxing in actual boxing gloves. So for these, there is no fit to box card, as these are a conditioning tool. I can't really rate these on the fit to box cards. Now, I would say use these in your sessions, mix them in with your training, do a few rounds on the bags, do a few rounds maybe on the mitts, few rounds of them with sparring before you, you're switching over to your normal 16 ounce, 14 ounce glove, whatever it is that you're using for the rest of your, your training. But there's a real element of conditioning that you can use with these that I think would be great when it comes to shoulder endurance and also sort of strength and conditioning that you're doing in a boxing manner without lifting weights up. So I'm super, super impressed with the concept. I think that these are great quality. 16 ounce weighs one pound. These weigh 1.5 pounds. So they are that 24 ounce, but they are sleek, as you can see from that there. And I think that these are perfect uh, when it comes to resistance without the gloves being massive. Also, Hit and Move, I love the fact that they are a new company and they are innovating. And they are not only are they innovating, but they are impressing as well. So hats off once again to Hit and Move. So, you know, there's companies out there that are not changing what they're doing. Hit and Move are sort of catching those companies. They're going to overtake those companies. And those companies really do need to, to wake up that there is companies out there like Hit and Move that are going to take their share of, of the market going forward um, because what they're coming out with is superb. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fit2Box channel and I shall speak to you soon.